It is, uh, let me call this meeting to order. It's June 13, 2017. It is now 6.30 for the regular scheduled board meeting for the month of June. Let me, determination, we have a quorum. Ms. Uh, Leti Lopez. Dr. Norberto Cantu. Present. Mr. Eduardo Ramirez. Present. Ms. Judy Solis. Present. Mr. Lazar Velasquez. Present. And myself, Daniel Garcia, is present as well. We do have a quorum. Dr. B is, a, is absent. I believe uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. S Section three, approval of minutes for the regular board meeting of May 9th, 2017, and the special board meeting of May 15th, 2017. Do we have a motion for the approval of minutes? We have a motion by Dr. Cantu. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Ms. Solis. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Section four, public forum. Uh, section five, item one, consider and take possible action on travel requests from Gruya High School, Rio High School. Do we have uh, any questions on item one? Do we have a motion item one? So moved. We have a motion by Dr. Cantu. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Ramirez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item two, consider and take possible action on request for use of school facilities from Star Youth Soccer League from May 2017 to August 12, 2017, Ringo Middle School Campus. <clears throat> Attached is the request from the Star Youth Soccer League of Rio Grande City for the use of Ringo Middle School for the Boys and Girls Soccer League for the month of May through August. Provided proof of uh, liability insurance is, uh, is there for your review. Uh, the administration recommends approval of the request. Do we have any questions on item two? Do we have a motion item two? I move to approve this item as presented. We have a motion by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? Second. second. We have a second by Mr. Velasquez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item three, consider and take possible action on request for use of school facilities from Patricio Sainz Jr. for summer track from May 2017 to July 13th, 31st, 2017. Ringo Middle School Field, Field House, and Joe R. Sanchez Stadium. Mr. Sainz uh, Jr., Mr. Pet Sainz Jr., has requested the use of Ringo Middle School and the Field House and Sanchez Stadium to have the track and field practices. He will use the facility May through July 31st. Practice will be Monday through Thursday uh, from 6.30 through 8.30 p.m. Mr. Sainz will provide liability insurance for before starting for any kind of practice. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we recommend approval. Do we have any discussion item three? We have a motion in item three. Okay, can we just make sure that he does provide the liability insurance before? Yes, sir, we will. It was in the chat. We, yes, yes, we'll make sure of that. Then we would move to approve this item pending the insurance. <coughs> board's verification that there was insurance. We have a motion by Ms. Solis in item three. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Ramirez. All in favor say aye. Aye. All, op all opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item four. Consider and take possible action on memorandum of understanding between Region 1 Education Center and RGCCISD for use of school facilities for the purpose of establishing an adult education and literacy program for the 2017-2018 school year, Old Ringo Elementary Building 1. We're going to see CISD is requesting permission to enter into a memorandum of agreement with Region 1 Education Service Center for the adult program. The purpose of establishing an adult education and literacy program for eligible participants from July 2017 to June 2018 for the school year. The district will receive a, an amount of $22,480 for the use of the facility, and that would be building one. We, uh, the administration recommends approval of the memorandum of agreement with Region 1 to be approved. All right, any discussion on item four? We have a motion on item four. I move to approve this item as presented. We have a motion by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Velasquez. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign, motion carries. Item five, consider and take possible action on interlocal agreement between City of Rio Grande City 
and RGCCISD for tax assessment and collections for the term of July 31st, 2017 through June 30th, 2018. The Interlocal Cooperation Agreement of, for Tax Assessment and Collections with the City of Rio Grande City. This agreement shall be in effect, or shall be effective from July 31st through, Ju through July 31st through June 30th, 2018. The City agreed to pay a fee of 6% of all current taxes collected from October 1 to September 30, 2018. Uh, this has worked very well for us. Uh, it's just a renewal. The administration is requesting that uh, you approve the recommendation. Mm -hmm. Any discussion, item five? Mr. Arrestio, for purposes of the record, it was 6%, was, was that the same rate last year? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it's been the same rate for, for a while now. I so move, Mr. President. We have a motion by Mr. Ramirez. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Velasquez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign, motion carries. Item six, consider and take possible action on agreement to provide driver education instruction by Estrella Defensive Driving School for R Rio High School and the Early College High School <coughs> for the 2017-2018 school year. The Estrella Defensive Driving School has submitted a proposal to provide Rio High and Early College High uh, students with a driver's education program. The driving school is TA accredited, bonded, and licensed with the state of Texas. The Estrella Driving School will donate a minimum of $250 per semester or a 3% of all monies collected <coughs> to the high school. Uh, this is a renewal. There from here, we recommend approval. All right. Any questions on item six? <coughs> we have a motion item six. So moved. We have a motion by Mr. Ramirez. Do we have a second on item six? We have a second by Dr. Cantu. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign, motion carries. <laughs> Item seven, consider and take possible a memorandum of agreement between RGCCISD and TMC Head Start, Early Head Start programs of literacy transition activities for the 2017-2018 school year. The purpose of the agreement is to enter into a memorandum of agreement to institute a working procedure between the appropriate local educational agency and the TMC Head Start, Early Head Start programs on literacy and transition activities for the provision of providing services to children <coughs> between birth to five years of age and their families. Um, the administration recommends approval of the memorandum. Any questions on item seven? No? Do we have a motion item seven? I move to approve this item as presented. We have a motion by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? We have a second by Ms. Lopez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign, motion carries. Item eight, consider and take possible action Donations to RGC CISD. The following are donations that have been received by uh, RGC CISD. As uh, you have copies of there, we have uh, three. Would you like me to read the three? We recommend approval of the donations. Uh, yes. Uh, do we have a motion in item eight? I would move to approve the item, and as always, we send thank you cards. I'm sure on behalf of the board to everyone who donated. Yes, ma'am. Business office at the school. Except for Mr. Ramirez. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Do we have a motion by Ms. Solis? Do we have a second? We have a second by Dr. Cantu. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item nine, consider and take possible action on request to purchase new uniforms for RGC CISD, Gruya High School football and volleyball. Rio the City CISD, Gruya High School football and volleyball teams are in need of the new uniforms. Head coach Abel Gonzalez and athletic director Ray Ramirez recommended the purchase of two sets of 45 uniforms, both blue and white, at the cost of $15,930. Head coach Jane Gomez and the athletic director Mr. Ramirez recommended the purchase of 50 uniforms also for the volleyball team at a cost of $3,755.50. Mm. Administration recommends approval of the purchase of the new uniforms for Greer High School for both football and volleyball. Do we have any questions on my item nine? Any motion on item nine? Do we have a motion by Dr. Cantu? Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Ms. Solis. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign, motion carries. Item 10, consider and take possible action on tax refunds for the month of May 2017. Presented is a request for approval of tax refunds for May uh, refunds totaling $2,830.54 is being requested. Attached is a summary of the refunds at your disposal. 
administration recommends the approval of the refunds for the thousand for two thousand eight hundred thirty dollars and fifty four cents. Do we have a motion item ten? <coughs> yes, sir. We have a motion by Mr. Ramirez. Do we have a second? We have a second by Dr. Cantu. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign, motion carries. Motion. Item 11, consider and take possible action. Requisitions 5,000 and over in a 12 month aggregate. The attached pages, pages recaps requisitions that exceed the $5,000 limit. The administration is requesting approval of these requisitions. The, the detailed requisitions are also attached for your review. If there's any questions on any particular line item, we recommend approval. Any questions? Do we have a motion in item 11? So moved. We have a motion by Dr. Cantu. Do we have a second? We have a second by Ms. Lopez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 12, consider and take possible action on awarding of the following bids. RFQ 1732, external auditor service. RFP 1736, student athletic and voluntary accident insurance. CSP 1738, Lagruya Elementary School bus drop off. <clears throat> On the RFQ number 1732, external auditor services, uh, after reviewing the qualifications submitted, we recommendation uh, is to reward Mr. Hernandez and company for the external auditor services. On the on the RFP request for proposal 1736, student athletic and voluntary accident insurance, we are recommending Texas Insurance Service Center. Uh, I may just add for note that uh, the premium is, uh, as it was last year, did not have an increase. They worked this out yesterday, left it at, uh, at 385, sir. It's, uh, it's, it's come been going down, and we've also had some claims that are less this year, which is good news. Uh, and also, uh, we have uh, requested from them to see if they could increase the coverage on the emergency room uh, uh, services. It used to have a $350 maximum. It, they, all, they went to $1,000 per, per, per claim. So they've uh, you know, done some good work for us, and we're recommending that uh, we work very well with this, this particular uh, vendor. So we're recommending approval of this uh, requisition uh, for proposal. And the third one is the, um, the C CSP number 1738, repairs at La Grulla Elementary School bus drop off area. Uh, there was a competitive seal proposals were requested for the above mentioned proposals and were opened and read aloud on Tuesday, the June the 6th. Uh, the proposal was received from the following companies. We had two bidders. We had uh, Armin Antonio Solis Construction from Rio Grande City, and we had also Julio Gonzalez Construction from Rio Grande City. Uh, after reviewing the proposal submitted uh, with uh, Mr. Figueroa, myself, and uh, the purchasing uh, uh, director, the recommendation is to award the proposal to Armin Antonio Solis for the construction. Uh, any questions you may have on those three bids? Any questions on item 12? <coughs> Do we have a motion on item 12? I move to approve the fund, Mr. Presenter. We have a motion by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Velasquez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 13, consider and take possible action on renewal of contract for copiers district-wide. These are proposals that were requested for renewals. These companies are vendors that have been with the district. They're not new. We have reviewed and uh, audited the amount of uh, copy machines uh, per facility, per campus, per program, and we have accounted for all of them. We're recommending to renew with the companies. The company is Rico out of McAllen, Texas, for an amount of 6,952.64 per month, and total imaging and CIT out of McAllen also. After reviewing the proposals, the recommendation is to continue the lease with the two state, their state approved copier vendors. Rates include toner, parts, labor, delivery, installation, <coughs> uh, et cetera. Both companies will also, also submit a, a monthly bill like they usually do. We recommend approval. Any questions on item 13? We have a motion on item 13. <coughs> so moved. We have a motion by Dr. Cantu. Do we have a second? We have a second by Mr. Ramirez. All in favor say aye. Aye. 
All opposed, same sign, motion carries. Item 14, consider and take possible action on surplus items to be declared obsolete. At your disposal, I believe you have a handout. Uh, the following are items uh, to be presented to be declared obsolete. Uh, these items have been found to be no longer useful to campuses and uh, to departments. If declared obsolete, an auction would be uh, scheduled. We are asking for approval to, ha to have an auction. Do you have any questions on item 14? I have a motion on item 14. We have a motion by Dr. Cantu. Do we have a second? second? We have a second by Ms. Lopez. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 15, consider and take possible action on request to purchase pre-K supplies district-wide for the 2017-2018 school year. Good evening, Mr. President, members of the board, Mr. Alfredo Garcia, Superintendent, ladies and gentlemen. Rio Grande City CISD would like to purchase supplies for all pre-K students coming into the school year 2017 and 18 school year. The total cost is $4,626.90. We do have funding available through Fund 255, Title II Part A, and Fund 270, the Rural and Low Income. As presented at the Curriculum Committee meeting, we recommend approval. Have any questions on item 15? We have a motion item 15? I would move to approve this item as presented. We have a motion by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Ramirez. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 16, consider and take possible action on Region 1 Professional Learning Community two days staff development training August 4th and 11th, 2017. Rio Grande City CISD would like to offer the opportunity to campus district administrators and campus leadership teams to receive professional learning community training. This past year we had day one and two and we are wanting to continue day three and four. And this is for August 4th and 11th. The cost of the training for these two days is $7,000. Funding is available through Fund 255, Title II Part A, and Fund 270, Rural and Low Income. As presented at the curriculum committee meeting, we also recommend approval. Any questions on item 16? We have a motion on item 16. I would move to approve this item as presented. We have a motion by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? <coughs> second? We have a second by Ms. Lopez. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 17, consider and take possible action on renewal of Region 7 DMAC software license agreement for the 2017-2018 school year. DMAC is a software program that we use for STAR and benchmark data collection and assessments in their district. It includes eight components that Rio Grande City CISD is currently utilizing. It is the state assessment, TEAK score, TAG, formworks, appraisals for T-TES and T-PES, uh, intervention, the SIP, SIP, and Lead Forward. Campus and district personnel utilize these different programs on DMAC to analyze data and make curriculum adjustments accordingly. The cost of this software program is $47,542, and this one we are pending availability of uh, funds coming up this coming school year. The funding source will be Title I, 211, and SCE 199. As presented at the Curriculum Committee meeting, we recommend approval. We have any questions on item 17? We have a motion item 17. I would move to approve this item as presented. We have a motion by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Ramirez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 18, consider and take possible action on renewal of Pearlized Mathematics Consulting LLC for the 2017-2018 school year. As we begin preparation for another school year, immediate plans are continuing to improve student performance in mathematics and it is a primary goal. Pearlized Math offers six sessions throughout the school year for kinder and first grade teachers. Pearlized Mathematic Curriculum training will result in a more effective gradual transition for our students from grades kinder to first grade into second. Furthermore, the curriculum will not only enhance mathematics foundation required by the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills and the Texas Response Curriculum, but also include science skills through measurement activities, reading language skills through academic vocabulary. The total cost for this program is $22,642.80. Pending availability of funds, the funding source will be Title II Part A, 255, and the Rural and Low Income Grant, 
270. As, rec as presented to the curriculum committee, we also recommend approval. We have a motion item 18. I would move to approve this item as presented. We have a motion by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? We have a second by Ms. Lopez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 19, consider and take possible action on renewal of Agile Mind Program Agreement for the 2017-2018 school year. Agile Mind is a system grounded in the Charles A. Dana Center's years of research and experience nurturing high achievement in mathematics and science. Agile's Mind work on Dana Center studies of performing high performing schools in poverty and school districts. Agile Mind programs have through intensive testing and expert review, they are based on recent research conducted with leaders at the Charles A. Denner, Dana Center and biological science curriculum study groups. Agile Mind services incorporates comp comprehensive in assessment, instruction, and reporting productivity tools and professional support the teachers to ensure that every of our students masters the essential subjects. The total cost of this program for the middle schools and high schools is $150,469.30. Pending availability of funds, the funding source will be the high school allotment, Title II Part A-255, Title II Part A-211, and SEE-199. As presented to the curriculum committee meeting, we also recommend approval. We have a motion, item 19. I would move to approve this item as presented. We have a motion by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? We have a second by Dr. Cantu. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign, motion carries. Item 21, consider and take possible action. Oh, I skipped. Item 20, consider and take possible action on renewal of professional service and site license agreement between RGCCISD and Sharon Wells Mathematic Curriculum Incorporated for the 2017-2018 school year. In preparation for another school year, Rio Grande City CISD teachers and principals have agreed to continue the implementation of the Sharon Wells math program in the elementary grade levels. This includes second through fifth grade. The total cost is $45,584. Funding will come from Title II Part A, Fund 255, the Rural and Low Income Fund 270. Pending availability of funds, we, approve, we recommend approval for the 2017-18 school year. Do we have any questions on item 20? We have a motion item 20. I would move to approve this item as presented. We have a motion by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Ramirez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pena. Item 21, consider and take possible action on official mascot and logo for early college high school. Good evening, board president, Mr. Daniel Garcia, school board members, Mr. Pedro Garcia, superintendent of schools. Uh, community and audience. Um, as Rio Grande City prepares to graduate uh, our students, or the first class of 2018 from RGCC ISD's Early College High School, it is with great pride that we present to you for approval the official school logo and mascot that students have come to agreement on. They would like to present to you the official logo. It is the, the mascot would be the uh, cougar and the official logo um, should be projected on the screen, and that would be the official uh, logo for the Early College High School. It's the Cougar and uh, their logo. We recommend approval. There is no cost to the district, but we wanted to present to you um, what the students have decided on for their logo and mascot. Was it overwhelming? I'm sorry? The vote, the vote was it overwhelming? The vote was overwhelming. Uh, and just putting out, asking it, I want, I want to hear the audience. <laughs> Students, was the vote over? Like everybody voted for the cougar as your mascot, and no yes, you all excited? Because they they told us yes. I want to make sure they weren't lying to us. <laughs> what were the other options? Were the, what were your other options? Jaguar. The jaguar, panthers, panthers, panthers jaguar, panthers. Any other questions? Our students are here. I would move to approve this item as presented. Do we have a motion on item 21 by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Ramirez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign, motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the Dr. students at, at this time, um, I guess they figured you were going to approve their logo. They have a, <laughs> uh, 
in appreciation for your continued support and dedication to the Early College High School, they would like to present to you a small token of appreciation with their official logo on um, a portfolio that they uh, bought for you students. Yes, all of you will get up and present. It's wrapped. I was gonna say, maybe we can all take a picture. Yes, uh, if we can have a picture with the students and our school board members, uh, Ms. and Mr. Garcia. The early college high school principal, Ms. Tina Gorena, and her administration and her teachers are here, so they would like to say thank you. Good evening, Mr. Garcia, school board president, members of the board, Mr. Alfredo Garcia, superintendent of schools. Um, I'd like to thank you all for your continued support of the Early College High School. It has been three wonderful, very adventurous years that we have had thus far. And we are really excited and looking forward to the first class graduating next May of 2018. Uh, it's something that the students have been thinking about since we opened our doors three years ago. And we are very, very excited. And I'd just like to thank you on behalf of my administration and on behalf of the students that are present here and the students at the campus. I'd like to thank you uh, for everything that you do for our school district and what you have accomplished and done for our campus especially. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gordon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, item 22, consider and take possible action on summer curriculum proposal for ACE 2E Middle School. As we prepare again for another school year, uh, the ACE Magnet Middle is requesting that we revise and adjust the curriculum for the eighth grade writing for the Magnet uh, Middle School. There is a proposal for the school, the cost of the project is $1,500. There is availability of funds through federal programs 199. We recommend approval. Do we have a motion on item 22? I shall move, President. We have a motion by Mr. Ramirez. Do we have a second? We have a second by Ms. Lopez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item 23, consider and take possible. Thank you, Dr. Green. Item 23, consider and take possible action on proposal to purchase science and social studies Spanish kits for teachers created materials for grades pre-K through first. Good evening, Mr. Daniel Garcia, board president, members of the board, Mr. Alfredo Garcia, superintendent of schools, and audience present. Um, the dual language uh, program uh, in our district is in need of pre-K through first grade Spanish, science, and social studies materials. Um, we want these materials through Teacher Created. Uh, that's the company that the teacher selected. Uh, purchase of these materials includes, includes an, an extra one day of professional development to make sure that they know how to incorporate these, these materials into our dual language curriculum. Right now, they're working on the, uh, summer curriculum incorporating these materials as we speak. Uh, these proposals are for pre-K uh, and first grade. Uh, last time I presented with the approval, we were able to purchase for all of uh, kinder and some of the pre-K, but it was not enough. So by uh, we have funding available for through 199 state by 
bilingual and 263, which is Title III, and uh, we recommend approval as discussed in curriculum meeting. Any questions on item 23? Do we have a motion on item 23? <coughs> we have a motion by Ms. Lopez. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Ms. Solis. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Item 24, consider and take possible action on renewal of memorandum of agreement between TMC Head Start, Early Head Start, and RGCCISD for the 2017-2018 school year. Good evening, Board President, members of the Board, Mr. Alfredo Garcia, Superintendent of Schools, and all individuals that are present. In behalf of the Special Ed Department, we are seeking the approval of a memorandum of understanding with TMC, uh, Head Start, Early Head Start, and Rio Grande City CISD. The purpose is to provide services to children with disability, disabilities transitioning into the public school. This memorandum of, of uh, agreement will be for the 17-18 school year. Any questions, item 24? Do we have a motion, item 24? Motion. We have a motion by Ms. Lopez. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Ramirez. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lopez. Anything on reports? Right. It is now 7.01. Uh, we'll be heading to closed session under the authority of the Texas Government Code section. 551.071. And again, thank you, Early College, for the gifts and the, it was a nice gesture. Thank you for being here. It is now 8.58 and we're out of executive session. Item A requires no, no action. Item B. No, no action? Right, do I have a motion, item B? I move that we approve item B as discussed in executive session. We have a motion by Mr. Ramirez. Do we have a second? We have a second by Mr. Velasquez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item C, do we have a motion item C? I move that we approve item C as discussed in executive session. We have a motion by Mr. Ramirez. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Velasquez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item D, do we have a motion item D? I move that we approve item E as discussed in item D as discussed in executive session. Item D, uh, we have a motion. Item D by Mr. Ramirez. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Velasquez. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Same sign. Motion carries. Item E. I move that no action be taken on item E. Item E, we have a motion by Mr. Ramirez. Do we have a second? I we have a second by Ms. Solis. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item F will be rescheduled, rescheduled for another hearing. Do we and have a table? We have a table. All right. Do we have a motion, item, item F? Table. We have a motion to table by Ms. Solis. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second by Mr. Velasquez. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Do we have a motion for adjournment? It is. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Uh, meeting is at 9 o'clock. Meeting is now adjourned.